Right, Chair Professor here. Now, for all the LAX passengers that are taking Ubers, Lyfts, and taxis, your drop-offs are still the same. Nothing changes. When it comes to the pickups, listen up. Things change a lot, right? So the reason I made this video is to get you prepared, the passenger, the rider, so you can work seamlessly with the driver, right? So you make his life easier as well. So if we look at Terminal 1, right, the new pickup lot is right up over here. It's this orange marker, right? Um, if you were to take the shuttle from um, point A, right, you used to get out here by T1, T2, this area, Terminal 1, Terminal 2, if you used to be picked up over here. Now the shuttle has to run all the way around the terminal, all around the horseshoe, around there, around that bend, and then into the pickup lot. You're talking 15 minutes, right? From zone B, terminal 3, right? Um, the shuttle time is 14 minutes. has to circle all the way around here, back there, okay? From area C, which is pretty much Tom Bradley International, we are talking 11 minutes, middle of the horseshoe, down, over, right? From D, which is American Airlines, and E as well. This area here, it'll take approximately 10 minutes with the shuttle to get over there. From areas F and G, now that would be um, terminals 6 and 7, possibly 8, right? That's the shortest shuttle drive with 7 minutes around exactly from there around this little loop here and then into the pickup lot now where you can save yourself a lot of time is if you actually walk from terminal one or terminal two across to the pickup lot versus taking the shuttle all the way around what are we talking about here right so on terminal one the walk takes three minutes uh, last time i walked it myself i did it in two and a half so give call it three minutes right from terminal one from Terminal 2 here, the walk across to the pickup lot is 8 minutes. I did it myself at 7 minutes 30, right? And I was moving pretty quickly, and I'm a tall guy with long feet. So 8 minutes is extremely accurate. T3, right at the end here, right? If you'd walk in that direction, you are looking at 14 minutes, right? you got to ask yourself now, hey, do I take... The shuttle or do I walk at that time? Do I need the exercise? Now where it's a game changer <clears throat> at Tom Bradley, pretty much down here, you are walking 18 minutes, right, to the new pickup area. None of the shuttle trips, no matter where you are, take 18 minutes. So at that point, you'd be losing time unless you really want to do the walk, right? At um, Terminal 6, this area over here, right? Sorry, let's go to um, Terminal 4, American Airlines. If you had to walk from here, you're talking 19 minutes, right? 19 minutes to get up to that pickup zone. From Terminal 5 over here at E, you'd be talking 18-minute walk, right? And then Terminal um, 7 and Terminal 8, it would take about 8 minutes, right? So if we would look at, um, let's see, you know, Terminal 6 with the shuttle, right, takes 8 minutes. 7, 8 with the shuttle will take 7 minutes. The walk from here takes 8 minutes. So here it's a toss-up. Do you want to take a shuttle 7 minutes or do you want to walk 8 minutes? But this here, my friends is an absolute no-brainer, right? Um, terminal 1 and Terminal 2, just the short walk across, it's a no-brainer, three minutes or eight minutes. These areas over here, walk across over there, you're looking at seven minutes. This is how you're going to save time. Now, a few other important um, factors for passengers and drivers. How do I Catch my Uber, Lyft, or taxi. Open the Uber or Lyft app once you've landed and step off the plane into the terminal. The app will provide travelers with directions on how to summon a ride. That's what the airport officials say. Now, 
exit the terminal and board one of the bright green shuttles to the pickup area. You can't miss them, right? Um, it's also a short, as I said, it's a short walk from terminals 1, 2, 7, and 8. If you are taking a taxi, board a shuttle or walk to the pickup area where there will be a cab stand. Are the drop-offs changing? No. Uber and Lyft vehicles can still drop you off at any terminal for a departing flight as they have for the last several years, which is good news. How long will the shuttle ride take? Shuttles will arrive every three to five minutes. The longest ride on the shuttles will be from Terminal 1, which will take about 15 minutes. Remember, I showed you have to circle all the way around. To speed up the travel times of the shuttles, the airport is converting the inside lanes on the arrivals level to bus-only lanes. Massive, massive changes, folks. Now, um, you should reliably be in your Uber, Lyft, or taxi within half an hour of leaving the terminal, even when traffic is the most congested, okay? Um, if the inside curb lanes are for buses, where do I pick up my friends and family? You should pick up your friends and family at the median between the inner and outer lanes of the arrivals level, the area where people formerly waited for the flyaway bus and other shuttles. There we go, right? That's a big change. Um, now, drivers should pull up to the curb and stop just as they did under the old system, the airport has uh, extended the medians there to accommodate more people. Um, that's what the airport shared with us. What is the pickup area like? The pickup area is a portion of a parking lot just east of LAX Terminal 1. I showed that to you. It has been converted into a plaza with bathrooms, umbrellas, green umbrellas, and phone charging stations. The Area will also have food trucks operating from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. Um, LAX calls the pickup area LAX it pronounced LA exit. Can we walk to the pickup area? Yes, the waiting lot is three minute walk from terminal one and about seven or eight minutes walk from terminals two, seven, and eight. I can verify those numbers because I walk those times myself. They are very, very accurate. Does the lot have enough space? The lot has the capacity of up to 2,600 vehicles an hour. The airport anticipates that peak demand will be at about 1,500 vehicles per hour. The pickup lot has a series of queues where up to 93 Uber and Lyft cars can load passengers simultaneously. An area nearby has space for 40 taxis. Uh, Uber told the airport in a letter this month that it had that it was concerned the lot did not have enough capacity drivers for Uber pick up an average of 500 riders an hour at LAX and during the busiest parts of the week that number more than doubles. Airport officials said they have done extensive traffic modeling and are confident that pickup area will have enough capacity. Do the shuttles accommodate people with disabilities? Customer service representative, representatives will be at each shuttle stop to help people board. The airport says the front end of the shuttle is lower to curb height, allowing people in wheelchairs to roll directly on board. There we have it, right? So they just want everyone to have a good experience, right? They um, um, Will someone help me with my luggage? Employees will be on hand 18 hours a day to answer questions and help passengers lift luggage, right? How long will these changes last? The pickup system will remain in place until LAX finishes building an elevated airport train, which is scheduled to open in 2023. There you have it, my friends. I hope that makes it easier uh, for passengers to understand the new system at LAX when you get picked up, right? As well as um, for a driver, how does this work? right? How do we pick up drivers in the future? Any more questions, please send them to me. Um, I've taken a lot of time to get my boots on the ground there, check it all out, walk it all out, so I can share a lot of knowledge with you if you have further questions. Have a great day.